Oh, hi. <laughs> There's something wrong with my camera, so I guess I have to continue this discussion na lang muna without the camera, right? Hindi ako sanay na walang camera, so yung chart na lang muna, titignan natin. Um, pasensya na, pasensya na. I'm having technical issues, but tuloy pa rin ang program as much as possible. Alone ko lang chart layout ko. I had to restart my PC, pero ayaw pa rin ang camera ko. Bakit kaya? I mean, just double check. Right, I think wala talaga, walang pag-asa ang camera ko. So we'll just continue. Yeah, guys, um it's 8:38 sige. We'll go directly to the issue na lang uh what we're going to be talking about today. The importance of investing and fundamentals, right? Uh let me open yung slide na hinda ko kanina, right? Um just give me one second. I had to restart my ano kasi I had to restart my PC kaya na sara tuloy yung slides ko na hinanda right i know you have your own reason bakit kayo pumasok sa stock market want some people um gusto nila pumasok sa stock market for long term purposes investing purposes some people went in the stock market para sa um mabilis at um mabilis at what do you call that um instant win diba mabilis at Ma uh, malaking pera sa stock market. Uh, whatever your reason is, ganito, I want to remove that reason. Whatever your reason is getting into the stock market, uh, please remove that. And then, um, I want to inject a new uh, mindset sa inyo, right? The mindset of treating the stock market as a bank. Banko ang stock market, right? It's a bank. It's the best bank out there. Why? Um, because by average, if a blue chip, um, blue chip ang papasukin yon. Um, if all uh, everything is looking well, um, your money can by average around grow around ten to fifteen percent. Right? That's still so much better than banks. Right? Kasi lagay niyo po sa bank kung pera niyo. Um, mag um uh, lagay niyo po sa stock market. Wag naman lahat. Right? Lagay niyo sa stock market kasi mas tutubo ng mas mabilis ang pera niyo compared sa uh compared to bank but there are instances that the stock market goes down diba but that's normal right that's why we have fundamentals diba so i want to remove that mindset um sa inyo yung para manalo ng mabilis at ng per, na mabilis na pera sa stock market and i want to inject this right mindset stock exchange should be mostly about protecting your investment majority of your money should go into defense and only a little portion of it should go for offense right um why is this all right stock market uh, stock market exchange should be mostly about protecting your investment especially if you're a newbie dapat ang purpose niyo in getting to the stock market is to protect your money let it grow and how do you protect your money in the stock market put it on fundamentally good companies fundamentally good companies why because if the fundamentals of the company is doing well kahit pa bumaba yung presyo uh, yung stock na yan you are you know that it's going to go up because of the fundamentals right that's why i always want you guys to stick to the fundamentals um konti lang mga traders ang lumayaman uh, ang hirap nito hindi ko alam kung naririnig niyo ako normal right right so yeah um konti lang ng mga traders ang yumayaman right you know this for a fact 80% of the traders lose i don't know how they got that ano statistics but most probably uh, mga brokers uh, because they have their they have a record of their traders yes traders 80% of the traders lose and sadly uh, we are part of that uh, we are part of the traders right we 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 am uh, yung retailers we are considered the traders cuz um maliliit lang naman ang hawak natin di ba so majority of us are into trading talaga right um and then if you are scared na baka mawala ang port niyo sa stock market it's because you are risking your entire port you put it on risky stocks that's why kung if you risk your entire port you can lose your entire port kaya may nakikita kayong mga ports diyan na 
um, bu- um di, di nagpo-post sila na ito na yung losses ko ngayon sa stock market. Bakit ganito? Ayoko na sa stock market and everything. Um, that's because they risk their entire port, right? Also, um uh, meron naman na kakapasok lang and then they are in it for long term to um bumabagsak ang presyo ng mga stocks at lugi na sila. Yan, akala nila pangit na stock market. It's not, right? There are moments that stock market, that the stock is gonna go up. There are moments that the stock is gonna go down. Tingnan si Jollibee, di ba? Si Jollibee, let me pull up uh, the chart of JFC. Right? JFC, right? For si Jollibee. There are instances na babagsak si Jollibee. There are instances na umakit si Jollibee, right? But overall, since Jollibee is a very good company, overall, it's moving up. Right, so this is what your goal is. If you are an investor, you can ride the overall climb of Jollibee. You don't really care of these movements na babagsak, ah, kiat babagsak, right? Because those are the concern of a trader. If you have, if you're an investor, look at it for the long term. Uh, Jollibee, five years ago, this is around twenty. Um, let's see, twenty thirteen. Kasi twenty eighteen tayo ngayon. 2013, let's say around July 2013, uh, ito, March 2013. From March 2013, si Jollibee umabot ng 187% ang climb niya. In just 5 years, right? In 5 years, 187%. Right? Halos na more than double yung presyo niya. Halos nag times 3. Diba? From 106 to 300 pesos, right? 300 pesos nag times 3 ang pera niyo. You should be looking at that growth. This was even when Jollibee was not yet that aggressive in expanding abroad. Right? But we were sticking into uh sticking and holding on to the fundamentals of Jollibee. Kaya kahit bumababayan, okay lang 'yan kasi alam niyo overall umaakyat si Jollibee. There are moments na babagsak ang isang stock like this moments right here, but that's okay. Because you're in it for the long term. This is your opportunity to buy more. Dapat matuwa po kayo. Right? Stock market, if you're an investor, it's about volume. Hindi kayo magiging milyonaryo kung 100,000 lang po ang lalagay nyo dyan. Magiging milyonaryo man kayo pero napakatagal pa. Right? Di, tulad nito, pag 100,000 lang lalagay mo, naging 300,000 lang in 5 years. Diba? Ang tagal pa rin. But at least on your 100,000 kung lalagay mo sa banko yan. Din <laughs> hanggang kalahati pa nga, hindi pa siguro naabot ng pera mo, ba? So it's much better than the bank. The thing is, just put your money in good companies, right? Meron pa nga akong kilala na pumasok kay Jollibee noon pa, right? 10 years ago, right? Um yung mga nagtuturo sa akin stock market. 10 years ago, this is February 2019, ang presyo ni Jollibee is 300 lang 10 years ago nag times 3 na ang presyo ni Jollibee. Look at that. I mean, nag times 10. This is 692%. But, yeah, from 30 pesos to 300 pesos, ba? So, nag times 10 na. Yung 1 million mo noon 10 years ago, I mean, yung 100,000 mo 10 years ago, naging 1 million na ngayon. So, it's so much better than the bank. Not just this. Baka sabihin nyo si Jollibee lang ang gusto ko. I-example kasi si Jollibee ginawa ang ganyan. You can watch, check out BDO. Si BDO rin. Paakit din yan. These are the very good companies. Hindi lang si BDO. Marami pa. Right? SMBH. Right? Kaya nga gusto ko, gustong gusto ko itong mga companies na ito. Because these companies, you are sure that it's gonna go up. They're gonna be increasing in numbers the dami pa ang mall ni, ni anon na dami pa ng mall ni SMPH so i want you to treat this as a bank whenever every month may savings kayo right for example after a month meron kayong 5000 put majority of it again put majority of it into protecting your money so sa so 5000 3000 ilalagay mo sa um sa uh, sa blue chip if you can as much as possible 5000 nga gusto ko ilagay niyo sa blue chip para wag kayong lugi sa fees eh. hindi naman kayo lugi kasi hindi naman kayo labas pasok labas pasok you're just putting it into investing kaya 5k a month of cost averaging is okay but yeah if if that's what you have and if you really want to trade kasi maliit pa naman yung pera ninyo it's pwede niyo man palakihin yan kung marunong kayo mag-trade yes a lot um a lit, a lot a little portion of it into trading. Pero, do not lose the spirit of investing. Peace, right? F- stick to the fundamentals. Kahit na bumagsak pa yung stock na yan, okay lang. Because you know, overall, it's gonna climb. Because that's a very good company, right? And, 
eto so um not not picking an uh, uh, ISM but IS Udena is already uh, in PSE officially on December 18 right hindi pa official ngayon pero habang ngayon maaga pa eh ako pinapasok si Udena for investment meron na akong ginawang port para solely mainly is for Udena lang para mapakita ko in the future the uh, really na ako mismo yung port ko ang mapakita ko sa mga tao to inspire people to invest di ba so It's about volume. Your goal should be getting as many volume as you can if you are planning to be an investor. And if the stock goes down like this one right here, bumagsak si SMPH. This one right here, grabe magsak ulit, grabe magsak ulit. Those are okay because those are opportunities that you can buy more. The fundamentals naman ng company, kahit bumabagsak yan, the real value of the company, it's called the intrinsic value of a company. It's not going down, right? Um... SMPH might uh, uh, stock prices of SMPH might go down but doesn't mean na nalulugi si SMPH araw-araw pumupunta sa mall ang mga tao and every uh, every year dumadami at dumadami ang malls ni SMPH that means the value of the company still growing even if this year hindi gum- hindi gaano tumaas ang presyo ng stocks niya for this year nga eh di ba nag constant lang dito sa baba right pababa ng pababa and then constantly went uh, nag stagnate sa 31 so 31 pesos ang presyo ni SMPH but is SMPH as a real company is, is stock at hindi umakyat no SMPH kahit bumabagsak ang stock prices nila SMPH just keeps getting grow uh, bigger and bigger and then you are banking on that growth di ba yun ang iisipin mo hindi yung presyo ng SMPH you never look at the current price of the stock uh, as the intrinsic value of the company but you're buying the value of the company what it can become in the future 5 to 10 years from now do you think malulugi si SMPH that's looking at the big picture what do you think about SMPH what do you think will happen to SMPH 5 years from now Is it gonna go down as a company overall or dadami at dadami pa ang malls nila? I believe dadami at dadami pa yung malls nila. So as long as the fundamentals of the company is intact, your money is gonna grow with them. Hindi nga mabilis. Yes, it's not gonna be very fast. But it's still better than just placing your money in the bank. Problema lang sa mga Pinoy, the biggest enemy of a, 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 karamihan sa atin, right? I started like that also is... Gusto ng mga Pinoy kasi na mabilisan ang income. Right? Mabilisan na income. Sad but true, right? If I asked you na um if, if you ask me how to be rich Sir Lloyd, sabihin ko sa inyo um if you wanna be rich right now, wag ka muna uh, wala ka pa namang investment or anything at nagtatrabaho ka lang. I tell you first to get uh VUL or uh insurance, investment insurance, 'di ba? Investment insurance para kung ano man mangyari sa iyo, you're covered. If wala nang mangyari sa iyo, you're gonna retire as a millionaire. But people don't like that because gusto nila maging millionaire ka agad. That's a wrong mentality. Every wise person, uh, every rich person knows the uh, the the value of planting seeds and looking for the long term. I want you guys to have that mentality. Your purpose, your main purpose in getting into the stock market is to have It's for investment, hindi po for trading, please, right? Um, wala pong guarantees gaano. If wala nga guarantees sa blue chips, mas walang guarantees po sa trading. If you want proof, sa mga newbies, look at your port. Kamusta ang port ninyo? Is it green already or is it negative? Pag negative yan, that's the proof. Wala pong guaranteed returns sa stock market. That is why you have to really look at companies for long term. Don't mind the drops, right? Um, dapat matutuwa kayo if you're in it as an investor. This is your opportunity to buy more stock at a much cheaper price and mas marami pa ang mabibili nyo. Ako, nalulungkot ako ngayon. I mean, noon. Kasi umaakyat ng umaakyat si, SM, uh, si ISM. Yung pera ko, yes, umaakyat siya. But really, that's not enough, right? Yung linakita nyo kanina, 100,000 stocks, that's not enough to become rich, really. I want more and more stocks kay, ano, kay kay ISM because I'm looking at it for the future, di ba? So um ang gusto ko mas marami akong stocks na hawak and if next month may pera ako at nagmahal si ISM, marami ba mabibili kong stocks hindi, right? Kasi it will take time for stock to grow. And by that time na mag-grow siya, gusto ko na marami na ang 
hawak ko. Right? Ayoko yung bi- mabilis ka agad umakyat kasi ay- hindi naman ako milyonaryo na meron akong perang malaki ka agad na pwede ko ilagay dyan at pwede kong i-risk. No, because ang laki na ng pera na yan. Hindi ko kaya yan. Hindi ako, hindi ako ganun kayaman. Diba? So, I still have very big attachment to that money. Right? I'm not, I really don't want to lose that money. Right? But yeah, I'm in it as an investor. I really want my money na mas marami pa ako malagay dyan. And wala pang pera ko ngayon eh. Right? Next month, the next month ulit, next month ulit. So, gusto ko magdagdag at magdagdag. Before ISM reaches its real potential, before Udena reaches its real potential, uh, like for example, si JFC, before gusto ko, marami na akong stocks na hawak dito pa lang sa baba. Right, dito pa lang sa baba sa mga, <laughs> gusto ko ganito ang mangyari kay JFC, right? Malami na akong hawak dito. Ayoko umakyat ka agad si Jollibee dito. Right? Kasi wala akong pera ngayon. Right? I want it to slowly grow up para kung mag-maximize ko na yung pera ko, umakyat na siya to the full potential of the company and marami na akong hawak na stocks. And once it stabilizes there, I'm already good. Right right now, wala pa tayo sa full potential ni, ni, ni Yudena. Hindi pa natin nakikita yung numbers nila. So right now, habang maaga pa, I really want na mag-ipon ng mag-ipon ng mas marami habang mura pa. Kasi pag umakit yan kaagad to its full potential, wala na. konti lang na napasok ko. I could be richer if ever mas marami pa hawak ko. That's the importance of fundamentals in investing. It's really about the number of stocks that you have. Ang dami nang nababagot sa... Um, 20,000, 30,000 stocks na hawak nila. Yes, it's a large amount of money. But you're missing out on the future potential of of ISM. If ever uh, gusto nyo pala na iakyat ka agad. But I can't blame everyone. Everyone, um, iba-iba naman tayo ng tolerance. I just want to give you the importance of um, investing in fundamentals really. Right? Um, Especially sa mga newbies, yung mga naipit, di ba, kay ISM. Let's talk about ISM. Sige, pag-usapan na natin si ISM. May maraming naipit kay ISM dito. Right? Um, ako is, meron pa ako naka-standby na pera kasi inabangan ko talaga ang reversal ulit ni ISM. Right? We was able to gain already on that part right there. I have 100k holding right now. Hindi ko binabenta. Right? Because that's already my base for my stocks. And then, pag anytime soon, pag nag-bounce yan si ISM, I'm just gonna be buying more kay ISM. So, yun yung plano ko. Um, sa mga naipit na, right, you can, if ever the amount is really shaking you off, right, you can sell a portion of your stocks. Pwede nyo sell a portion and then if bumaba pa yan, if you have a feeling na bababa pa yan, technical analysis wise is saying na possible pa siyang bumaba. Right? It's, uh, technicals is telling us na baka bumaba pa. So, um, if you're not, if you are not comfortable really of the losses on your port, especially sa mga newbies. I understand that. I've been there before. Um, you can, ano, you can sell portion of it and then use that money to buy more on the bounce. Problema lang yan, the disadvantage of that is what if mag-bounce na ngayon, especially now I'm opening my Timson, tingnan natin yung projected opening ni, ano, ni ISM. Mula pa naman alas 9, but hindi pa natin makikita yung projected opening. But let's look at the, let's look at the bids right now kay ISM. So, let's see if ano mangyayari, right? Um, wala pa details nag-load. So, I'm just gonna share it to you in a bit. Um, yun, um, sa mga naipit yon sa mga gustong pumasok kay ISM, wait nyo lang muna yung bounce before you wanna get in. Sa mga traders, dapat nag-cut loss na kayo. If you did a test buy here, dapat nag-cut loss na kayo sa MA20, right? Sa traders yan. If investor kayo, um, pumasok kayo dito this is yun yung sinasabi ko even from before dito pa lang sa taas right do not be aggressive wag po kayo mag all in dyan right average down I mean test buy lang dito kasi hindi naman natin alam kung aakit pa talaga yun or bababa this case bumaba siya right so that's why I just wanted you to test buy here para kung when this happens when bounces happen you can average down when you need to um, right now let's check out ISM's uh, orders and so ISM order is 5.23 uh, 5.23 naman yung closing price niya yesterday so 5.23 yung bids or may pito buying at 5.23 uh, for 390,000 stocks so that's this is looking good for ISM right 
people are still getting in. This is what I want you to check out with ISM, right? Of uh, say, some trading group ko, someone has been monitoring ISMs, foreign buying, and overall sa lahat ng galaw ni ISM buying foreign buying 6 million kahapon selling 3.6 million but overall and daming binibili ang mga foreign the foreign investors are buying ISM habang tayo mga pinoy benta ng benta right 27 kahapon negative 3.6 um i understand that laki kasi ng hawak nila negative 3.6 million uh 6 million buying noong November 27 kahit pula right even on the red days green ang foreign buying So, the foreigners are buying ISM. They they cost of fundamentals, right? That's the beauty of fundamentals talaga. So, this should be something that uh, that is uh, that you should be looking at, right? Um, kahit ang laki ng mga negatives, um, foreign buying overall is still there, right? So, ISM. So, habang nagbibenta, si Juan, binibili ng mga foreigner, kaya mga foreigner, yumayaman na yumayaman because they understand fundamentals, right? Uh, yon. Um, let's go to your comments. Tingnan ko nga kung ano. Um, if you have any comments about fundamentals before we proceed with our discussion, right? Um, sir, ang EEV was the opening. Let's check it out. Good morning, po. Pa share naman po analysis news IRC sa first hour. Uh, TF. What do you mean by TF? Uh, sir, sir, CLC po, please, let's check that out. Breakout only from last resistance. Bye, bye, bye. Um, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. To go, shall PH right up. We'll check that out. Buy ISM uptrend more. Buy more money, guy. Ayan. Um, how do you know if company is good investment if you see a full scope of, if you don't see a full scope of the financial statements, right? Um, Number one is projects. You can see the projects. Yes, totoo naman yan. Si Yudena, hindi pa natin nakikita yung full scope ng financials niya. Right? But, <laughs> the lending companies do. Right? And, ang isa sa mga nagpapautang kay Yudena is BDO, SMPH. I mean, BDO, si Henry C. Right? Hindi magpapautang si Henry C. kay Yudena if alam niya na lugi ang isang company. Right? You just follow the money. Kahit wala pa kayong ano, kahit wala pa kayong, uh, kahit wala pa kayong, what do you call this, uh, nakikita sa financials niya, right? Um, yun yung sinasabi natin before, um, SMPH is pra- partnering with Udena, uh, hindi si SMPH, si, si Henry C. is partnering up with uh, Udena. Uh, they are, f- they've been funding Udena for the projects, right? If these investors are getting in Udena, why aren't we getting in? ba? Diba? So that's what you should be talking about. But that's a very good point, Emmanuel Nadera. So how do you know if the company is good? Follow the money. Yun yung sinasabi ko. Whenever investors are getting in, there's something up with that company. Follow the money, right? Hi, Jackson family, right? Um, Sir Lloyd, unplug and plug your camera. That's what I did. Ayo eh. Okay, I didn't plug it. And then plug it again. And ayo pa rin. <laughs> So, mamaya ko na lang troubleshoot sa yung oras natin eh. Right? So, pasensya na if hindi nyo nakikita yung mukha ko. Even me, I'm, I'm comfortable right now. But, dapat tuloy pa rin ang program. SMPH and Will Conpo, Sir Lloyd will write that down. Morning, Sir Lloyd. Bull market ngayon. Week dito sa US po. Right? Yeah. Kuha, profit, tas buhos dyan sa Pinas. Right? Toto, tama naman. Totoo yan. Hello, Sir Lloyd. Kailan po mag-seminar sa Qatar? Uh, Drew, DC, Qatar, February. Right? On Valentine's Week. Hindi naman sa Valentine's Day. Hindi tayo magsa-seminar sa Valentine's Day. We need to enjoy. Pero dyan kami mag-Valentine's. Right? So, I'll see you there. Right? Um, I'll just, I'll send more details about it in the future. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Nag-cut loss po ako sa ISM kahapon sa bye-bye lower price. Is that a good strategy? Yes, yes pwede naman yan. It's, uh, ito yung sinasabi ko. Yes, the system, I mean, the system, the price is, I understand that the price is not, I mean, your losses are not making you comfortable. So, you can always cut your losses to para hindi pa lumakit, lumaki yung loss ninyo. And then, once you're comfortable with the technicals already, that's when you buy more. That's a more efficient way of investing, di ba? Ako dati, ang ginagawa ko is whenever it breaks MA20, I just uh, I just cut my uh, I just cut half of it and then antayin ko lang muna mag-stabilize siya and mag-bounce before I wanna buy more sa, sa company. 
um, for my investments. So that's what I do, right? So this is a good, uh, that was a good strategy, cutting at uh, May 20 and then just buy more at the bottom should you see a bounce, diba? So antayin nyo lang yung bounce. That's a very good strategy. Pwede nyo gawin yan. DMW, sir, right? DMW is my, in my picks. And MY, TY, mataas na si MY. Morning, sir, Lloyd. Green, please. Ali, sir, Lloyd. Good morning, sir. Thank you for the time and effort to help us in financial life. Good, God bless po. You're welcome, Che Hero. Right. Test by ka 10K, then average up or average down yung 40K. Sabi ni Sir Lloyd sa previous video, tama ba for Sir Lloyd? Yes, tama yan. Right. All you need to do is just test by. Please, wag po kayo mag all in. Never go all in, especially in the bearish market, especially if your risk is very high. Right? You don't really know where the stock is going. So at least, kung mag-uptrend man yan talaga, that's a better position kung uptrend ng isang stock because mas malaki ng chance na mag-angat siya. Right? That's why you just add more money sa uptrend. Then average down just in case na bumagsak. Ilang percent po ang dapat na i-trade per stock? Halimbawa, kung 50K ang pinasok ko sa stock market. Um, depende eh. Sa 50K, I would strongly recommend at least, uh, at most, dalawa lang sa 50K mo. Right? And then, majority of your money, again, should go for blue chips. So, around 30K dyan, ilagay mo sa isang safe na stock. And if you wanna trade, you can use the 20K. Pag lumiit yung 20K mo, wag mong kukunan yung 30K mo. Because that means that you don't have a trading system if lumiit-liit at lumiliit yung 20K mo. Right? That means, wala ka pang trading system, hindi ka marunong mag-trade kasi natatalo ka. Quit trading, go to investing. Yung natiro ang pera mo, ilagay mo muna sa investing at mag-enroll ka sa seminar ko. <laughs> diba? Biro lang. Right? But you can learn trading. Mamaya na kayo mag-trade kung alam nyo talaga paano mag-trade na. I tell you guys, hindi... Uh, Ang problema sa sa newbies, nakapanood lang na ilang videos sa YouTube. Uh, they get cocky and get confident. At magtitrade ka agad sa pera nila. Kakapasok lang stock market. And then, so sasapakin sila ng stock market ng malaking loss. And then, they quit. That's how people quit. Right? So, that's because you risk your entire uh, um, your entire port. Audio is fine. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Nag-hold pa rin kayo, ba kayo sa ISM? Yes, I'm still holding ISM on my investment port. Right? Um... Uh, I'm still holding on to the fundamentals of it because wala namang bad news so far. Nagugulo si Chavit, yes, it can make the stock go down but doesn't really mean na wala na si ISM, hindi pa tuloy ang, ano, uh, hindi tuloy ang third telco, that means tuloy pa and then habang bumababa, okay lang kasi yung, uh, I can buy more actually. Ang dami lang gustong humabol kaya ang dami nagbabash, right? But overall, yes, it's a very good company. So I have I'm still holding on to it. Uh, may pera lang ako naka-standby to buy more of it. Right? So, Lord, confirm trading. No trading bukas. Thank you so much, Arthur. No trading tomorrow because it's a holiday. Thank you so much for that. Right? So, ayan. Sir, any comments po kay ACR? Bakit po bumababa ng ISM, Sir Lloyd? Ang dami natatakot, Adrian. Um, because of the noise that the Senate is making making right now. Si Chavit, nag-iingay na naman. So, marami natatakot. Right? Marami Pinoy na nata- natatakot. Right? But I keep telling you, while people are scared, that's the time to be aggressive. Right? As long as the fundamentals of the company is solid. Udena is still there. Um, may mga nananakot lang while they're selling. Uh, wait for the opportunity to buy. And then, habang takot sila, hanapan nyo ng buy. Right? I keep buying, uh, just keep buying more whenever you see a support. And then, wag lang all in. Right? Mas maganda ang pera if ever uptrend nyo sa ilalagay. So, wag nyo, you can average down at least mas lower yung, uh, um, yung average nyo. Pero, wag nyo po ilalagay kaagad kasi baka bumaba pa. Right? Tama yan, sir. Invest din sa knowledge to minimize risk. Any available seminar evening schedule next weekend. It's gonna be a Friday, Saturday, 8pm. So, send me a message, Bermud. Jeff Samson. Yes, tama. Alright, Carlos, uh, Raymond De Vulgados, naisip ko din yan, sir, para parang pahinga muna sa trading since puro loss. Right, yeah, that's that's the thing. You, you are losing in trading. It's because you don't know what you're doing yet. No worry about trading. You can learn it. Right, you can learn it at your own if you want to. If gusto nyo talaga maging matipid at gusto nyo libre na learning talaga, you can practice it on your own. Yun ang ginawa ko noon when I started. Kasi wala akong choice. Napakamahal na mga seminars noon. Tiga 100,000. Oh my God. So I, re- I was really forced to really study it on my own. And I told myself, I'm gonna be good at this and teach people. And ayun, nagmumurahan na sila kasi 
sinimulan ko ng mura. <laughs> so ako yung mag- naging sun, sun cellular ni PLDT at Globe noon. Kaya naging mura din si Globe and Smart noon. But yeah, um, I made the seminar a win-win price for me and for the teachings. Right? Pambawi rin sa loss ko noon while learning, the <laughs> while learning the system, while creating my system. But yeah, I definitely assure you guys, makikita niyo naman sa comments ng mga tao ng mga students ko. Andun sa testimonials, ratings ng Financial Freedom 101, makita niyo doon ang testimonials ng students. How sulit ba ang seminar? I say it is. Right? Don't take my word for it. Take the word for... Uh, tingnan niyo po yung comments ng mga students. Walang walang ipa profit take puro pula. Right? Good morning sir. Prof, parang profit day, profit taking day ngayon puro pula. Um yes you can oh, ganito lang yan guys. Let the market ito. Um, ito nahihirapan ako sa chat room namin. Cuz every time the market moves down, ang dami nagre-react, right? Um that's because ang emotions ng mga tao, grabe pa ang emotions, especially sa mga newbies, ni pa marunong mag-handle ng emotion. Right? You are a good trader if you realize nag-mature ka na sa trader. If you know that every market action doesn't really need a negative reaction, all you need to do is do the right thing. If a market goes down, if you're in a trade and you're a trader, just cut your losses. Natural yan. It is part of trading. If it goes up and dami na ingay, Yes, natutuwa tayo, but you know how to react. Pag natutuwa na mga tao, you're looking for, uh, dapat hands-on ka na kasi anytime soon magsa-sell off na yan. You really have to know what you're doing, right? So, does every market movement doesn't have to have any overreaction if you're a trader. You know what to do. If ever babagsak yan, you know that you need to cut loss. Um, if ever babagsak yan, if you're an investor, alam mo naman na hindi mo kailangan mag-cut loss. So, you should be happy kasi alam mo may pera ka na to average down or to buy more in the future kasi nagko-cost averaging ako, right? I am a cost averaging type of person every, as much as possible, every month nagdadagdag ako ng mga BP. Ang ginagawa ko is nagdadagdag, gumagawa ako ng mga accounts ng iba, ibang traders. As much as possible, I have and dami ko pong brokers so that I have access to their research. I need the research so that I can recommend things to you guys or can recommend companies. Salamat sir, hulog ka ng langit sa amin. Gio Ambas, thank you so much. Then, Jer Sense, positive ba ba ang clos- disclosure na MRP kahapon? Kung morning Sir Lloyd, wake, woke up 5 a.m. here. Yet, um, ang pangit eh, um, ang alam ko is MRP, binibenta na nila yung stocks nila. I, I recommend just selling out MRP na. Right? Um, ayun, so, alay po ni President Duterte ni President Duterte ang Chief Justice ijajunk lang yung motion to other bidders thank telco yes isa yan sa tinitingnan natin Jeff Samson kasi inaakit nila sa Supreme Court ang kaso about Sear and what you call this and Miss Latel isa yan sa ano uh, isa yan sa factor so most probably marireject yung case ni Sear but um I want the stock, actually, yes, I want the stock to really go down even further. Right? Kung bababa man yan, then let it drop because nag-aabang na ako ng bonds. Mas mura at mas marami ako mabibili pag babagsak yan. Let the market do its thing. Huwag po kayo stress out. People are speculating. Ang dami ng mga, ang dami ng uh, conspiracy theory. Trade what you see, not what you think. Yun lang. If you see a bounce, and if you're in, if you're in it for long term, kahit pa anong gawin nila dyan, anong bash pa ang gagawin nila dyan, babagsak yan. Oo. Right? Huwag kayo mag-re-react sa bashers. Right? I, right now, I'm thankful for bashers because I'm not planning to take profits anytime soon. Noon pa nga sa nasa taas yan, hindi ako nag-take profits. Ngayon pa, nga, ngayon pa kaya na maliit yung ano ko. Hindi ako, I'm not, I'm not looking to take profits soon. I'm looking, I'm waiting for uh, you then to reach its full potential. Pagtapos na yung Clark Pampanga, tingnan ko po kung maganda, mag, uh, magsislow down si you na kung magsislow down, maybe I can take profits. If not, um, andun pa, naantay ko pa yung Clark Pampanga project ni Udena before I wanna I wanna consider taking profits. Uh, Ovel or Dones out to be you po. Alright. Um, ISM projected opening price 5.23. Yes. Uh, sir, pag naka one minute chart po yung Bollinger Band, nag-iiba rin or cut loss parin below MA20. If nag one minute chart ka, that means you are looking at an intraday trading strategy. You have to cut loss in the one minute chart. Anyways, yes, I wanna go to my picks na ngayon kasi malapit na yung oras natin matapos. Let's go to Jerry, right? One of the good picks that I have right now. Jerry, 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 ang ganda ng earnings third quarter. Maganda ang earnings third quarter, second quarter. So, Jerry is doing good, right? Those, these are consistent numbers. But look at the technical analysis. Tanggalin ko lang muna si, uh, what do you call this? Una, si Bollinger Band nag-engulfing dito. So, those uh, that's a signal na most probably tapos na yung down 
downtrend after this engulfing pattern and nag-stabilize lang and nag-sideways. So, meaning, nag-change na ang, what do you call this, nag-change na ang direction niya, hindi na downtrend. And then, look at this, tanggalin ko sa Bollinger Band, look at the prices. Alright, um, dito, pababa ang presyo, this was a better bottom because at this point, RSI sideways. So, I mean, paakyat na nga si RSI. So, that's a divergence right there. So, this is a very good bottom for Jerry. And then, look at this right here. Yung presyo, pa sideways na. But RSI is starting to look up already. Pataas ng RSI. So, that means Jerry is already um, starting to gain momentum. Aarangkada na yan, most probably. So, if you wanna get in, get in near the support as much as possible. Actually, dito sa point 1.0, pasokin yan, and then buy as long as the support holds. Pag nag-hold yan, tama tayo, then good thing. Right? Test buy lang. Hindi pa, hindi pa uptrend po yan, sideways trend pa po yan, and the trend is your friend. Sideways trend is not your friend. Uptrend ang best friend mo. So, mamaya ka na maglagay ng malaking pera pag uptrend na yan. So, just test buy here. Then, cut loss below 3 to 4% below that support line. For Jerry, DD, double dragon, right? Higher low for DD, right? This is a good uh, signal for DD. Uh, volume is not there yet. It's not yet picking up, but still, that's a good price action right there. You can use that as your support. This is a good bottom for DD. Pababa ang presyo. But RSI has already been shooting up. So, yan. Um, this is a good price for DD. Pwede nyo na itong pasukin. That means DD is showing us good signals. That means DD is showing us that momentum is starting to kick in. After this, uh, look at this engulfing pattern. And then there's the higher low. That's the stabilization. That's your entry point for double dragon. Right? For That's for DD. Next sa pick ko, si SM. Si SM naman, um, kaka-retrace lang. We're now emit nearing ME20 but this support is very solid volume has been um, consistent lang at around that level so this is good for SM um, buy as long as that support holds or you can use ME20 as your support for SM um, UBP and UBP and kahapon I did shout out UBP at around 60 5 pa lang, hindi pa siya gumagalaw but the volume has been very massive already pag sabi ko gan ganyan sa chat room umakyat na hanggang 69 agad si UBP tapos stabilized at 67 now it, this looks scary but if you wanna calculate your uh, what they call this your your risk this is still around negative 2% lang away from support so or less your risk is around 5% this is a very good position that's a very good spike in the volume of UBP Right, so UBP, pwede nyo tingnan yan. Pwede kayong pumasasyon dyan. To check that out kasi because of the volume. Alright, UBP. Um, and then LTG. Ito guys, LTG. I've been waiting for LTG to do a retracement right here. And then LTG did a good bounce right there. It did clip the MA20 but bounce after that. So nag-recover siya above MA20 agad ngayon. Look at the volume. This is a very good bounce for LTG. So yes, you can test out LTG. Use this higher low as your support right there for LTG. Ayan. So, LTG, one of my picks for today, recommended LTG here, dito sa baba. Because why? Because of this, uh, what do you call this? Uh, divergence, right? We have a good uh, we have a good movement dito sa presyo niya. Actually, pa baba pala. Right? Um, because of, number one, um, yung RSI niya is looking good. Engulfing pattern stabilization, I did recommend LTG here. And then... Yan, umakyat siya ng 24%. That was a good win. Mabagal na akyat, but still, overall, it's still a win. But I'm recommending LTG again nga ngayon because this is a good bounce for LTG. Um, next up kay LTG is ABS. ABS, yan. ABS, CBN. Massive volume yesterday. This is looking good for ABS, CBN. We can see a divergence right here, right there. Um, RSI is shooting up already. Run. So, pagpaakit na yan. So, overall, maliit pa rin naman yung risk for ABS. Right? Negative 2% from its support. So, yes. Pwede nyong e, uh, i-check out si ABS, CBN. Buy as long as that support holds. Cut loss lang if ever it goes down. Just test buy. Right? Mag-test buy lang kayo. Huwag po kayo mag-all in. Right? VLL. Right? VLL, we have a retracement bounce at MA20. And then, volume is picking up at that bounce. So, yes. VLL. Pwede na pasukin to after that ball in Japan trigger. Use MA20 as your support. If ever it fails, you can always cut your losses. But look at the support. It's still very near. So, that's a very uh, that's a very good position for VLL. Uh, tell naman. Yan. Si PLDT. Right? PLDT. Sideways support. Nag-bounce na. CPLDT, there it is, right there. But even if sideways and support niya, 
RSI is already look going up, so that's a divergence right there. Uh, healthy volume for PLDT, so you wanna check. You might wanna check this out for PLDT. That's a good bottom for PLDT, right? So tell uh, PNB, right? PNB, uh, Philippine National Bank. I think PNB is gonna be breaking out today because of the volume yesterday. So antay nila po yung breakout for PNB. We have a flag pattern right here, uh, right there. So, antay niyo po yung breakout ni PNB before you wanna get in para may base po kayo. Right? So, those are my picks for today. I hope nakita niyo po yung technical analysis and learn from it. Um, I'm gonna go now to your, ano, to your uh, queries. Right? Um, Joni has a question, sir. Yung itoro pag-copy trade ng individual, sir, automatic po ba? Saka ano po gamit doon real money or virtual? Saka pag nag-gain siya, gain ka rin po ba? And ang system po ba niya, eh, kung parang babakas babakas ka. I'm not really sure what you mean. But yeah, Joni, si Itoro. Right, uh, let's check out Itoro. Very good question. I can open up my Itoro. Alright, so Itoro, import ko, green, but napakalit lang. Ang tagal gumagal, gumalaw ni gold. Right? But yeah, uh, for example, um, you wanna uh, you you wanna search for someone. For example, uh, let's go for copy people. For example, let's check out etong si yung maliit lang ang risk pero malaki ang gains. Let's check out etong etong inchik na ito. Right, this guy is twelve percent last twelve months. Let's check it. Let's check out his port. Yan. So, ayan, makikita mo naman yung ano niya, yung what they call this, yung performance niya. So, one point eighty eight November. Yeah, it's gubagana siya. If you click on copy. Right, you you will first is real portfolio po ang gagamitin niyo. Right, real portfolio. You can go to your virtual portfolio if you wanna practice it, but you can use your real portfolio here. It's not just not loading. Just click on copy, and then how much do you want to copy? Minimum po is two hundred dollars. Uh, and then it has an option for you to to click. Sa sabi hinjan is if you wanna copy the current positions or uh, current open trades, kung kakopyahin nyo po yung open trades, kakopyahin nyo po lahat ng nasupport niya, hindi yung future trades lang. Uh, I recommend just copy the future trades, hindi yung current port niya. Kasi baka matagal niya na na-open yung position na yun at nasa resistance na, at baka mag-pullback, nung ibibenta, so loss kayo dyan. So at least yung mga future trades niya lang ang kakopyahin nyo. Whatever he earns, from that point on, you will earn also. So check out eToro guys. Use the link on the description that will help me in return. Matutulungan nyo po ako if you use eToro. Uh, may link on the eToro sa baba. Right, so going to your picks, it's 919. Bilisan ko lang po ito. Unahin ko lang po yung mga nag-request na kanina. Si Food, right? May nag-request about Food, si Romil. And I forgot the other person. Yan, si Ro, um, Food. Bakit sa time may 20, pero wala siyang green talaga. So, konti ingat lang muna. Just wait for Food to bounce at MA20 before you want to get in Food. Right? So, ito yung sinasabi ko lagi sa inyo guys. I don't like breakouts on a bearish market kasi hindi nagsusustain usually. Right? That's why I don't like breakouts. And huwag nyo po kakalimutan, this is an uptrend. So, yung support and resistance niya pataas din. So, basically, we are at resistance levels. Kaya nagre-retrace -re yan. We are at the support levels though. So anytime soon, baka mag bounce yan. So pag nag bounce yan, you get you can get in food. You wanna test out food? That's your entry point there. SSI, right? Um, SSI, paano po ba ang engulfing yan, sir? At paano ang uh, funding yan, sir? At paano ang withdrawal sa Itoro? E funding ng Itoro, e you just click on and dito yan. Uh, amount, magkano? Stop copying. Ato yung stop loss. Copy open trades. Tanggalin nyo lang po yung copy open trades and then copy. So, future trades niya, makakapasok kayo. To fund, just click on deposit funds and you have an option to alright. A symptom persists, consult your daughter. Doctor, ni daughter. Right? You fund your account. I'm using my visa and then you can click on 200 USD pwede po credit card pwede po debit card to fund your ano to fund your what they call this to fund your eToro right uh sir Ames Trader Rising Star ng eToro si Ames Trader let's check out Ames Trader meron siyang inaano let's check out Ames Trader yan yan one of the rising stars of eToro yes this is a good yeah ito yung re-recommend ko diba si Jero Jeroen Decker look at that all positive kahit bearish market yeah this is a good guy to 
um, copy trade. I-copy trade niya ito. Right? If you want a fund manager na mag-handle ng pera niya, if hindi kayo matunong mag-trade, punta na kayo kay Ains Trader. Magaling mag-trade yung tao yan. I-copy trade niya yan. Right? So, just copy his future trades. Anyways, yeah, going back, it's line 21. Uh, uh, SSI, guys. SSI nag-trigger sa lower Bollinger Band. So, stay away from it muna. Right? Um, stay away lang muna. Right? Um, ito yung sinasabi ko pag nag-trigger sa lower Bollinger Band. Usually, bumababa. We did test out the support but it failed. So, stay away lang muna. We'll wait for further price action for SSI uh, before we wanna get in again kay SSI. Walang forever na uptrend sa SSI. So, I hope na nagperahan nyo na si SSI. I did recommend that doon pa sa baba. Alright. Uh, ISM. We talked about ISM already. Just wait for the bounce before you wanna get in. Vulcan. Ito. May nagtatanong about Vulcan. Let me go to full screen. Yan, si Vulcan nagre-retrace. Right? So, so, this is good for Vulcan if any retracement is going to happen. Let's see if magtuloy-tuloy yung pag ni Vulcan. Just wait for the bounce before you wanna get in Vulcan so that we have a support base na pwede natin pasukin. MBT. Si MBT, paakyat. Ayan, nagre-retrace pala si MBT. Hindi pala umakyat. Akala ko umakyat siya kahapon. Right, so MBT, let it retrace. I'm waiting for the retracement of MBT and then the bounce before I wanna recommend MBT. Sa ngayon, nagre-retrace pa. Iwas lang muna. IRC, May natatanong sa akin, Sir Lloyd, bakit pumula si IRC? That's normal, guys. Normal lang na nagre-retrace ang isang stock, right? That's not a problem. Just wait for IRC to bounce if you are waiting for IRC. Again, stick to the fundamentals kay IRC if gusto nyo pasukin si IRC. But right now, if trader naman kayo kay IRC, dapat nag-take profits kay Kapon starting to show resistance, you can have take profits on the half. Let the other half ride. And then just look for an opportunity to buy more and then move your support to the buy more area. Yan. Um, that's for IRC. MAH naman, MAHB. Mga chupetero, pwede nyo tingnan ito. Ang ganda ng bounce. That was the retracement you're looking for. Ang ganda ng bounce kahapon. Very good volume yesterday. So, you might wanna check this out today. Pwede nyo chupitan yan. I don't recommend that for newbies. Huwag nyo na, huwag na kayo maiingit dyan. FGEN. That's FGEN naman. Um, FGEN, um, somehow, the resistance is going lower. So, it's forming a triangle. Um, it's a forming a uh, triangle. So, just wait for it to do a breakout on that triangle before you wanna get in FGEN. I don't wanna recommend FGEN yet kasi medyo... Um, Shaky pang market. Nasa resistance level si FGEN. Ito, Primex. Ito, may tanong kay Primex kanina. Whew, sakit na nalamunan ko. Primex. Ito, Primex is doing, um, Bollinger Band is constricting. Um, nagsa sideways na ang expression ni Primex. So yeah, this is a good avenue to test buy. You can test out the support of Primex if you want to. Right, Primex is looking good. Right, na overall, maganda naman yung pressure niya. Right, um, napakamura pa ni Primex. It's been giving us very good numbers lately. Si Primex, right, plus 167. So, Primex is good. Right. So, pasensya na if hindi ako maka-full maka screen, guys. I'm gonna be troubleshooting this later. Right, it's Thursday. Possibly, profit-taking day. But, yan lang. Stay light pa rin. We're still not out of the woods. Ito yung sinasabi ko lagi. Hindi pa tayo completely bullish ang market. Yes, market is looking good. PSEI did a breakout and is sustaining that support. But we're not out of the woods yet. So, don't want you to be aggressive. Stay light, meaning kung resistance na, take your profits and then huwag masyado malaking pera. Trade light lang. Huwag masyado malaking pera mo na ilalagay sa stock market. Yun yung ginagawa ng mga kaibigan kong mga brokers ngayon. They're trading light right now. Because it's wise. No, you don't have to be aggressive on the bearish market. So, wag bro, wag po kayo mag all in. That's it for today. Pasensya ulit for the technical problems, right? But still, I hope you learned a lot. I'll see you again next week over the weekend. Baka magagawa ako ng magandang video for any guidance, tutorials. Check it out. Please subscribe to my channel. If you want to show your support to this channel, you can send me a message. I can give you my bank account. Kung gusto nyo po mag-donate, any amount will be greatly appreciated para tulong po sa... Um, Financial Freedom 101 ch channel. That's it for today. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your holidays. As always po, let's get rich together. Have a great day. Tingin pa ako ng tingin ng camera. Parang gumagana yung camera ko eh. <laughs> right? So yes, that's it for today. Bye-bye.